For sake of clarification, we want to say that this episode is focusing on the animals commonly called possums that live throughout the Americas. These animals belong to the Didelphidae family, and although they share a common name with the possums found in Australia and the surrounding Indo-Pacific islands, they're not related to the pea possums. Pea possums are in Australia, opossums are in America, even though most of the time they're pronounced the same. This would be way easier if it wasn't spoken. There are around 100 different species of possums, and only one is native to North America, the Virginia possum. The range of all possum species reaches as far north as Canada, and as far south as Argentina. Northern living possums are limited by just how far north they can survive due to cold, harsh winters, though they have expanded their range northward with the assistance of humans. Possums are opportunistic eaters, and they will regularly consume waste thrown out by humans as well as pet food left outside. When they aren't rummaging through our trash, they eat a varied diet that is largely omnivorous, containing fruits, insects, eggs, and even snakes. Yeah, some species of possum are actually immune to viper venom, so the possums will attack and eat the venomous snakes. Vicious. Okay, really though, they only pretend to be vicious. Look how absolutely adorable they can be. It's possible that people have such a bad association with possums because they sort of look like giant rats. But rats are adorable, and that's totally 100% factual, and not at all an opinion of the show hosts. The name possum is believed to come from the Algonquin word meaning white beast, which leads me to believe that we chose the wrong name for Chester. The name White Beast makes sense for some species, such as the Virginia possum, to which the name was ascribed, but really, possums come in a variety of colors. The smallest possums are short-tailed possums, who can be shorter than 5 inches in length and weigh less than 3 ounces. The largest possums are referred to as the common possums. They can reach sizes equivalent to or even slightly larger than a domestic cat, with weights over 10 pounds and lengths over 20 inches. Even the largest species are hunted by predators, though, and these include maned wolves, foxes, owls, hawks, and even feral cats and dogs. Wild living possums, on average, won't live past three years of age, but captive-kept individuals can live longer, reaching almost ten. Possums aren't really about romance. For the most part, they don't have any kind of ritual before mating, and they will part ways afterwards, leaving the mother possum to raise the kids on her own. But she's a strong, independent woman, sometimes equipped with upwards of 20 or more milk-filled breasts to feed her hungry kids. Since possums are marsupials, the infants are born underdeveloped, and will spend their first weeks of life drinking their mother's milk and developing outside the mother's womb. Not all possums have a pouch, with smaller species having more of a fold in their skin than an actual pouch. As the babies grow, they will continue to stay with their mother, sometimes riding on her back while she hunts for food. After a few more weeks, once they're old enough to fend for themselves, they'll set off on their own. Not all possums will make it to this stage. It's not uncommon for mama possums to have more babies than they have breasts, and thus they're unable to feed all of their offspring. Plus, the manner in which they are born leaves them vulnerable in their early stages of life, and not all of them will survive. But those that do will go on to live in a plethora of habitats, including forests, mountains, grasslands, and even trees. Most people have seen cartoons of possums hanging upside down from their tail. While this is a bit of a stretch, they do use their tails to help with balance, and as a safety rope while climbing trees. There's even a species that lives in water, appropriately named the water possum. Water possums are the only living marsupials in which both males and females have a pouch, though they use their pouches for different reasons. Possums have been around for a long time, like since the dinosaurs were around kind of long, and for the most part, they're doing alright. Recently, the red-bellied grassel mouse possum was classified as extinct, but most other species are listed as least concern in the wild. Which possum species?